I'm so excited. I'm officially going in on an apartment with my friend Samantha. Right in here, I love it. I love it. Robbie cooking. <laughs> this is Robbie washing dishes. It is now April. We are almost to May, and that is just absolutely insane to me. I um, took my time with setting up my place. Uh, if I do say so myself, it looks pretty great now. Um, I feel pretty autonomous, and honestly, that feels amazing. I am back on my study grind. Very happy to be, as you can tell. I mean, I'm, I'm still developing a routine, to be honest. That is definitely a constant struggle, though. I am going to... <laughs> drink more water and slowly make it to the gym. <clears throat> okay. I am like drowning in PowerPoint slides and it's too much. It's too much. I'm fine with everything. Like, I, it was like intense. I was making friends with random kids. Flips on the double gym. Yeah, it was, it was intense. It was great. But sometimes there weren't any other kids to play with. And my dad's back. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna take a nap. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Morning cry session. I feel good now. I feel really good. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I'm not crying because of school. I wish, I wish school was the reason I cry. I wish a lot of things. What really helps me during very emotional episodes, um, because I often, I can totally go down this like loophole. What really helps me is to, in those moments of vulnerability and sadness and whatever I'm experiencing, I picture one of my mentors in front of me or like a role model. And right now, people that serve as role models for me are um, my parents. You know, they're on and off. They're on and off. Up here, sometimes they're like superheroes and sometimes they're villains. Or for example, the doctor I worked for for like four and a half years, he's always been a role model for me. So I'll picture him in front of me and pretend that I'm having a conversation with him about what I'm experiencing right now. So obviously a lot of the stuff that I get sad about, I wouldn't share with somebody I worked with. Picturing myself talking to them about it helps me rationalize it because with this person I wouldn't show up and be like a, a sissy you know I would show up as my rational self instead of speaking out of my emotions if that makes any sense I'm gonna finish my brekkie and um, get on with my day it hasn't been the easiest thing to be back in school every day I still have to contemplate life before I'm able to be productive but I'm trying to get back into it and I'm excited to be making time for my hobbies again now that it's been a few months back in school. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of it again little by little and um, I'm excited. I'm back. I'm back at it. I'm back at working towards my goals and um, I'm just honestly so grateful for a second chance. 
tú actúa desde el amor, desde la creatividad, desde lo que mueve tu corazón, desde un sí total y certero, desde la buena intención, desde la luz, desde la paz, y deja que los demás actúen desde lo que tienen y lo que quieren ofrecer. Wow. Wow. That was beautiful. That was really beautiful.